Hi, a friend who shall remain nameless uh, just asked me uh, if I knew of a source for any handheld uh, enclosure that has a built-in AA or AAA battery compartment. And I said, yeah, you know, you can get those. Um, and like even like local J car sell them. There it is. And it's got two double A's in it or whatever. You know, they're a dime a dozen. But then he said, no, I want uh, three double A or three triple A batteries. And uh-huh, that's actually a bit more difficult because even just uh, regular battery holders on their own, there's not too many around that hold three cells, double A AA or triple A. You can get uh, ones that hold, uh, you know, two, of course, ones that hold four, three, not very common. In fact, I bought a whole bunch of these for my microcurrent because my microcurrent needs, well, it, it can actually have optionally three triple A batteries in the uh, base of the thing to give it extra battery life and extra output voltage and stuff like that. And three just fits. And I had to source a three-way AAA uh, battery holder that I included way back in the uh, when I did the uh, Kickstarter campaign. Anyway, so I thought, yeah, it, you know, it might be a fair lot harder. In fact, I'm sure it is to uh, find an enclosure with three AA or AAA batteries. So I thought, okay, like I'll go have a squiz. And of course, the first thing I would do in this situation is I, you know, I know this guy's good and he's already had a look around and stuff and just couldn't really find anything. So I wouldn't think it'd be in the obvious places. So anyway, I thought, the first thing I'd do is go over to the EEV blog wiki. Now, <laughs> you haven't seen this for a long time. In fact, I haven't updated it for many, many years. It was thing I started many years ago. And um, there is, you know, there's a whole bunch of resources in here. And one of them is enclosure manufacturers. Now, the whole idea with this wiki is that, you know, people could update it and stuff like that. But I couldn't keep the spam out. So I just permanently locked the thing. And um, yeah, anyway. Um, so here it is. We've got all these different enclosure manufacturers. It's always been quite a decent resource for enclosure manufacturers. I just sort of got every enclosure manufacturer I knew of and just whacked them all in here and, you know, the odd note and stuff like that. Um, so I thought, you know, I go to my, like, uh, ones that I've used before, like Surpac, uh, for example. I've used those for decades. Uh, you know, Pactech, I've been using those since I was a, since I was a kid really, um, you know, since I was a teenager, uh, once again, many decades, and, uh, uh, you know, have a look at those um, sort of ones, and like Pactech, for example, uh, you can go to the, I think, you know, a few of them might have sort of kind of parametric search things, I don't know, I haven't looked in depth for en enclosures for a while now, but uh, anyway, uh, Pactech, yeah, you can go in here, and you can go uh, handheld, for example, there it is, and, oh, look, batteries. Okay, so you open up those pages and you go in here and you find, oh, they're two double A's. Nine volts, very typical stuff. Nothing's really happening there. Um, and by the way, I've got a like a plug-in for my Chrome browser. I can't remember what it's called, but it automatically pops up photos when you hover over them. It's really quite handy for this sort of thing if you're wondering how that's uh, happening there. And, you know, I thought, oh, I could go into um, others. But then I thought, no, nah, you know, look, I uh, kind of had a vague recollection of Farnell's slash element 14 now um, had a parametric search possibly for something like that. So I went into enclosures, uh, plastic enclosures, and they don't seem to have a parametric search down here for... Uh, you know, like uh, features or something like that. So that didn't uh, work and I didn't want to go scroll through all photos. You know, you could probably try and go, you know, enclosure, uh, AA or something, for example, like that. And, you know, you might get lucky, but mm, then again, you might not. Where's the enclosures? Anyway, in plastic enclosures, there's five, which mentioned AA. I don't know. Um, yeah, we've got uh, Camden Boss. Um cases but there's no photos so you'd have to go in and check each one eh, whatever anyway too hard so i thought hey i'll at least double check on digikey so let's go in and have a look at enclosure here and uh here is boxes and enclosures boxes here we go there's ten thousand items you could also do this on mouser as well digikey is usually my first point of call uh 
just because, right? And so you want to do some parametric searching. I've done videos on parametric uh, searching and stuff before, but if we go over here, aha, features. That's what we want um, because it doesn't seem to have like a like a battery uh, section, but features might actually be mentioned in here. So let's go down and sure enough, battery compartment is a feature here. Quite a few of them. Now, I, ordinarily I would select all of, you can just go in and select one and you can hold down the shift or control or whatever and select multiple ones. Normally I'd select them all with double A, but I know that a lot of these boxes, uh, through experience, they, they either accept a nine volt or a double A. The ones that have nine volt and double A typically will only hold two double A's. They won't hold, because that's physically similar size to a nine volt battery. So I was pretty sure they wouldn't be three way, but you know, if I didn't find anything, I could go down. So anyway, I'm going to select all the double A and triple A, because he's not fussy whether it's double A or triple A. So I'm going to support, um, select all of those. And you know, there might be, it might be called something else. Just scroll all the way through. Often uh, parametric searches or features like this can go under, you know, multiple names, depending on the manufacturer and how they've um, called something and how it's entered into the DigiKey database, for example. So then you just apply filters and bingo, we've got ourselves a bunch of boxes down here. And the first, like, you know, usually you're not going to get um, any hint. Oh, you might get a hint in the, uh, in the part description, right? You might actually get something. Um, but like, with this hover thing, the easiest thing to do is just go have a look. Look, that one's obviously got two AA batteries. You can see there. That one's got two, two. I uh, can't see what's going on there. It looks like it's one of those optional uh, things, one of those um, T-shaped cases, which I really like. That one kind of looks like it's three, but actually if you look at the back humps there, it's actually four. And that one actually has in the part number there, you can see it's got four. So SRH75 is the model number, and then you've got four AA in there. So that actually gives it away. So we just keep scrolling down here. Scrolling down here, trying to get lucky. You always try and get lucky in this business. That one's got four double A's by the looks of it. Um, and really, you couldn't really search for the description. The parametric search is much better for this. I wouldn't go into DigiKey and search enclosure three double A's, uh, for example. So um, that's probably not going to cut the mustard. But aha, uh -huh, you finally get down here and hallelujah, we got lucky. Look. Three, count them, one, two, three, triple A's. Awesome. This one down here, it looks like, what, what's the difference? Is it just color? Yeah, it might just be color. One's, one's yellow, one's green. These are from uh, Boppler enclosures. I haven't actually used Boppler before. Um, but as you can see, there's no, there's not many of them. And uh, there, but we got lucky. We got a three triple A jobby here so if we go in there and open that puppy up and have a look and of course we can uh, call up uh, yeah see here's why you wouldn't find this in a oh you oh, would you find it no but it just tells you battery compartment triple a so nowhere in any of the searchable descriptions or anything like that, expanded description or whatever, does it mention three AAA? So you wouldn't have found this if you just um, did the DigiKey search, like in the top uh, bar up here, you know, type in enclosure three times AAA. Although I haven't tried it, so I don't know, I could be making a fool out of myself. Um, Murphy will get you every time. Anyway, let's have a look at the data sheets, sh shall we? The Boss Streamline series. I rather like the look of this and, uh, and it looks like you can get them windowed or no windowed, or is that just custom machining? Most of these manufacturers will do custom machining and stuff for you, or at least a lot of them uh, will. Um, and of course, you can get completely custom uh, solution for this. You can go to some, find some manufacturer on AliExpress or whatever who does cases, and they'll you know moldings aren't that. But I think he just wants like you know 10, 20, 50 of or something. You know you wouldn't bother. So you're going to try and find an off the shelf uh, solution first. And sure enough, you go down here without battery compartment, so you can get them with or without battery 
uh, compartment. So once we have the model numbers and stuff like that, then we can go and do a deeper search on DigiKey and Mouser if it didn't have something that uh, we had available. So you can get them with Windows, without Windows. That's great. With Loop for attaching Lanyard. Kind of like this case. It's kind of neat. Sloped like that, you know, for sitting on your bench. If you've got a nice angle like LCD, it just angles up uh, nicely for you. That's rather neat. So we've got another model here without battery compartment. With battery compartment, there you go, the BS401. No BS, this case. This one's got three micro AAA batteries in it, and it's available in graphite grey, light grey, and silver. Thank you very much for playing. Um, so there you go. Was that the BS403? Yes, the BS403. So, you know, BS403, you can see what other ones are available, perhaps. Boxes, no. They've only got the one. Okay, there you go. BS403. So, there you go. That's it. I just wanted to show you that. And how, like, I kind of got, wow, I didn't get lucky. I went sort of like a systematic approach through, but I, you know, I got lucky in that DigiKey happened to have one. You know, usually Murphy will get you an, oh, you know, you search DigiKey extensively and you'll find that only Mouser have it or only Farnell have it or something else like that. Or if the uh, big... Um, uh, suppliers like your mousey, mouser digikey and farnells don't have it then you have to go through systematically through you know i would go through you know i'd spend hours and hours many times i spent like day you know a whole day just searching box manufacturers for that perfect case because that perfect case can actually make or break your product, you know, because when you've got to go fully custom, oh, it's like an open slate and it's hard. Design engineers love it when they have a constraint to work to. And if you choose a nice enclosure you, you found that looks good, then you can actually design around that enclosure rather than, you know, having just open slather, oh, do anything um, and get it all custom. So anyway, yeah, I would, you know, go through not not systematically i go to the ones that i'm uh familiar with you know i've used like half a dozen of these um suppliers you know extensively these manufacturers extensively and you just go through like that because sometimes that's the only way to do it and most of them aren't going to have you know really good parametric uh searches on their web page and stuff like that you know often they're a bit clunky and very 90s based web uh design and things like that they're not exactly uh, user friendly but there you go. We got lucky on that DigiKey search. And, like, he was messaging me on uh, Google Hangouts, and it was only, you know, it, it only took me a couple of minutes to find that. But now I've waffled on for 10 minutes. I wish I had, like, started it and did that live, but I cheated. I already knew that there was one on DigiKey because I found it. But that's basically the procedure that I uh, took there. First, uh, once I realized that, go in here. I realized I wasn't getting very far here, so I went and I thought, yeah, why not? I'll give DigiKey a shot. It was unlikely to work, but it did. We got lucky. And how good are just photos? This was back before the days of the web when you actually had printed catalogs. You'd had the printed Farnell and RS catalogs. We didn't have the DigiKey catalogs here in Australia because it wasn't a thing, didn't have online e-commerce and things like that. Um, so uh, to order, you know, they didn't have the easy order in, in Australia they do now. So Farnell and RS catalogs, that was that was the Bible, you know, and you had that. It was dog-eared on your desk and you had multiple copies because people would always be stealing it. And you'd just flick through the uh, the catalog and um, you'd like the photos would be everything. You search for stuff with photos. And that was the way, you know, you'd uh, like when you got the new catalog, you just sit there all day just flicking through. Oh, that looks, oh, that looks interesting. I haven't seen that before. What can I use that for? What project can I use that in? And stuff like that. But yeah, nowadays it's all on the web, but photos still reign supreme. Like, cause you can just go through here really quick like this, like that. Is, you know, that's how fast your searching becomes. And there's only two pages of search. It takes me, you know, 30 seconds to scan through these to see that DigiKey have or don't have something. But you've got to be careful because not every single um, item in DigiKey and Mouser and Farnells and all the rest is properly categorized with these feet, with the with these features populated and as i said they could be under different names and stuff like that so you can often come a gutsa there by not choosing the right name you might miss something or whatever parameter it is it's just there's countless permutations of this for all different uh, types of parts but that's um enclosure searching for you
got a bit lucky there. But yeah, that's a bit unusual requirement. Um, so if you know of any other three AA or three AAA handheld enclosures, uh, please leave it in the comments because my friend would probably like to do it. Let's do all the work for him. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, I, this isn't a regular video. It's just a single take blab. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Parametric searching. It's fun. Catch you next time.